A quick question on the USMCA. Now that it's been concluded, have you repaired your relationship with Prime Minister Trudeau? Yes, I have. We have a very good relationship. It's not quite as rosy, though, as Trump may think. Yes, Ottawa wants the deal ratified, and it's launching a campaign to get that done. Though when that does finally happen, uh, as Katie Simpson reports, you might not actually see the usual celebratory photo op. It was 1992, under the San Antonio sun, the leaders of Canada, the U.S. and Mexico stood side by side for a NAFTA signing ceremony. But that kind of staged fanfare may not happen for NAFTA 2.0. I can't imagine some kind of a celebratory uh, event uh, as long as those tariffs are in place. Canada's ambassador in Washington says unless the Trump administration lifts tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau won't be taking part in any celebrations for the deal known as the USMCA with Donald Trump, a shot aimed at a president obsessed with image. We will conduct our business and, and sign on to what we agreed to, uh, but uh, I, you know, we'll hold the celebration until we get rid of those tariffs. The decision comes as Canada reassesses its relationships in Washington, with the Democrats poised to take control of the House. The power shift is prompting Justin Trudeau to call on his inner circle once again for a charm offensive, a coordinated effort to lobby U.S. lawmakers on both the benefits of ratifying the USMCA and killing the tariffs. That'll all be enormously important because there are so many new faces, not just in Congress, but also with governors. Canadian industries that enthusiastically support the USMCA, including auto parts manufacturers, are not afraid at this point that the change in power will put the deal in jeopardy. They're just hoping it will be ratified soon. I think it's an opportunity really to help the company grow its revenue, but also grow the number of people we employ in each of the regions we operate. Ministerial trips to Washington have yet to be announced, but the government wants those high-level conversations to refresh the Canada-U.S. relationship so the next two years are not as tense as the last two. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.